This is my second day of using AutoHotKey, and this time I use it when I grade a student's homework online. I find it very useful. So let me show you what I did. Okay, so whatever system you use, uh, you might end up at typing up some comments. If it's mathematical, you may use tablet, or often it involves, you know, some sentences. And here is feedback area down there. If you click on that, you can write that down. Because it's located bottom below, I decided to um, pull up just this uh, this type of area in here, just to demonstrate um, where you can typeset things. So the things that I set up here in my auto hotkey is two key GG. If I type a GG right next to each other, then it's going to show what that is. And the PP is another key for the penalty code and stuff like this. So that's what I'm going to show. So first one, um, these are all common comments that occur while I'm grading. So if I type GG, the hotkey is set up, is automatically it's going to type, it looks great. Well, you can copy and paste if you, can, if you think about it. But if there are like five choices, copying and paste is, um, you know, it takes time. But if you just type two letters, um, it just replaces short sentences is amazing. So penalty code like this comes in like this, a standard penalty code uh, is usually listed there. Usually these are the four standard codes, so I can go ahead and just delete that one. Okay, that was all right. Student did everything correct, but these two are a problem. And whatever this one, I have comment, okay, one point deduction and things like that. So another couple other things that I did is that you can further a commenting out about today's homework. And I added it in my script so that if I type COT and it's going to say something about, um, let me go to back in there, T altogether, it's going to say something about a coterminal angle. So that's, a, you know, I anticipated that this is going to be a common comment so from my experience. So if I type COT, it automatically says that discussions on coterminal angles missing. And another thing I prepared that students usually miss is about things about arc length. So if I say ARC is going to automatically replace the clause lecture on arc length part is missing and things like that. So I find this is extremely useful and I'm going to show you how to set this one up. I already made one video about auto hotkey earlier one, but I'd like to make it independent. Um, I'm going to explain um, fairly complete. Of course, if you don't have auto hotkey installed go to this website type up auto hotkey there.com and download it and then you will have that shows up in your um, startup menu and what you have to do is um, create a text document for example you click on that actually you have to go to this uh, if I see if I can show this one notepad go ahead and click on the notepad and you will have notepad file show up and I'm going to create a new one a new notepad you have something like this and then you're going to you know write out um, your script and at the end when you save it if you click on control save and you have to go down there and have to select um, sorry about that oh, it was on select all files click on all files and whatever the name of your file and you have to uh, state AHK that's auto hotkey so if you have installed auto hotkey and then if you save this file with this uh, file extension name it is going to recognize this as auto hotkey file and it's going to show you this type of icon in there so I have prepared it there um, attendance work grade script is prepared there. So let me show you the content of the, the script. It's just a text file. And with this um, thing like this, is, this is called hot string before it calls hot keys. It's about replace, you know, abbreviating uh, sentences. You have to start with a colon, star, and colon. You can even replace that with a colon, colon. The difference, it seems like it actually shows the progress of typing this one in. And if you put star in there, it's very fast. I don't see that it's being typed up. I don't know exactly the difference. I can only 
um, tell you how it looks like when I executed it. So if I type GG and then there's a double colon symbol, then it's going to type up like that. It looks great. Then change the line. And this is another thing that I, I use it a lot, especially at the beginning of the semester. Warning this time, if I type in WRN, if I type in PP, it's, uh, let me go ahead and turn it off, long sentence with the enter keys in there. So if you type up things like this and go to the end and shift down, enter key, and then shift key up, and then it's going to do that uh, key stroke because this is what's so in my, I use my open math, and this is how it, it's set up to go to the right next to the line without line break. I mean, without inserting empty line in there so but this has to be done in all in one line probably you can break it somehow i don't know uh, what a syntax you have to put it in there so that it doesn't look this ugly but you got the idea and this is um this part right here is more of a temporary thing this is going to be always i'll be using that this one is for this course and uh, for this homework set I'll have this comment and next time I'm going to change it. But it's just a notepad document. You can come and um, replace that easily. So it's very, very convenient. So you save it and then you can see the star sign up there changes to no star sign. And that means it's saved. And then for the first time, you have to go to um, your folder and have to run this auto. Uh, auto hotkey file by double clicking on it also if you click uh, right click on it you have three options run script which is the same as double uh, double clicking on it or edit strip and then it's going to pull up that notepad file right in there but um, that we can just double click on that one i have already run this one so it is showing that you have already run that i haven't looked into this thing so that i don't um, I can avoid this clicking part in there, but if you click on that, it ran that file. So um, you can use that. So let me go back in here again. Um, so that's that. Once it's run, uh, wherever you type in this text key, GG, WRN, whatever, and it's going to replace in, in this entire string in there. Um, if you use a different editor for the auto hotkey, um, this rerunning part is going to be more convenient. You might have a button up there, but I realize you can also do this using um, Auto Hotkey itself. It's really fun. So here's the idea. I'm going to use this Control R key. Control um, forgot why I used R, but it's R, and uh, I can reload script or something. It's a run of the a. I just created this whole thing. Is actually this file aw hyphen grade auto hotkey um, if you declare this hotkey w um, control r then it's going to run that program which is not to do and i realize that you have to pause a little bit so that this open window comes up and that's a 0.5 second 500 millisecond or something and then enter key that's the same as a send you know curly brace enter and close the curly brace and this time it has to be returned it's not just the hot string is a hot key and then you have to put this one in there now after you run this one and the system knows that control r is supposed to run this auto hot key so that you don't have to go back out there uh, making any corrections so let me go ahead and um, show you uh, how it works so i am typing let me make it big enough um, where's it it could be up down there. What I'm going to do is add run it, for example, like that. And then and this is going to, there's some, some showcase. Let me think about what to write down. I can't think of it right now. Okay. So I decided to have a new hot string new, then, and here's a new comment. I wanted to put that in there. So, so let me go ahead and force to save it, which is Control S, the standard um, hotkey. So Control S, it saved it. Now you don't have to go back to that folder and double click on that AW grade um, auto hotkey. Just simply click on Control R, and then it ran it. It has an extra dialog window, waited 0.5 second, and click on OK. Now it ran it. So if I go to uh, 
um, this file in there and uh, it's just a space if i type in new then it's going to type here's a new comment like that so i hope you got the idea it's wonderful i actually use this thing today to grade um you know about 30 students homework and putting the comments into that was well, a super super uh, convenient feature is amazing um, i should have known this earlier thank you